We're looking at the Mary Ellen of Bowes cabinet, commissioned in about 1780 um, by Mary Ellen of Bowes. She was one of the richest heiresses of her era, very educated, a great collector, and interested in botany. And this was commissioned to house specimens, dry specimens and live specimens. Um, the top is drawers to house the dry specimens, and the lower shelf would have had a lead-lined tray watered by reservoirs in the legs and taps um, to, to house live specimens. Um, not a great combination, water and wood, so it's been altered. The, the shelf has a bit of a chequered history. This is not original. Um, at one stage it had cupboards put into it and you can see evidence of that by the line of um, mortises running across and the fact that you can see the swirls where the doors opened. Those, those cupboards were stylistically completely wrong and they've obviously been removed. Um, I believe that this shelf would have sat slightly lower and had a tray to house live specimens watered by these Reservoirs, these lead-lined reservoirs, which have taps. They're, the reservoir, they're actually not in situ, but they did have taps, which allowed the tray to be watered. Um, looking at the materials, uh, the carcass is all solid mahogany, but the materials that we can see, you've got holly swags and heads carved which would have been a very pale colour, almost white. Um, the heads are on a background of probably East Indian satin wood, which would have been a yellow colour. And then the banding around the medallions and around the front is tulip wood, which would have been a very pink colour. Um, the burr elm could have been enhanced with stain, probably had a slightly reddy hue to it. It would have been a very bright, vivid piece. There is a miniature version of this cabinet which is very, very similar. The proportions are slightly different, the construction is slightly different. The miniature one was probably made in around 1800. And this cabinet was gifted to John Bowes by Mary Ellen Bowes' daughter in 1854. The chief of these shapes, the serpentine shape in a veneer structure, is a testament to the depth of the furniture trade of the 18th century based on materials, the way they were presented and prepared, and the way this was put together um, is very impressive. And, and the fact that it looks like it does now is a reflection of their skill. Mm -hmm.